friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a variety of DIYs for you. So I have this Target dollar spot basket and I have it painted copper, rust-oleum, and then I'm taking the apple barrel burnt umber and after I clean it up here, I'm gonna take a small paintbrush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint over that copper. So my goal here is to give it kind of a rusty look and if it was summertime or warm out, I might go out and try to spray paint it anyway uh, and still get that look. But it's wintertime and I'm just staying in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this inside, outside, and underneath. So the original piece that I saw, and I tried to find the picture. I cannot find it anymore. I don't know where it is. But it was like a $40 piece. And so I'm kind of mimicking this. It's kind of like a a high-end dupe. It took me about an hour and a half to paint this like this. But here's the result. It has kind of a rusty basket type look and this is exactly what I am going for here. So I'm happy with the results. A um, little time consuming but I think that it was well worth the effort. So now I have this candle holder that I purchased at Target also and uh, I was going to do the plaster or the white or I was going to combine them both and in the end I decided to just go with the plaster. I was really happy with the way that paint turned out. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to do one coat of paint. Okay, so that is done, and now I'm going to take some sandpaper, and this is from um, the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take it, and I'm just going to rub a little bit here and there and rough it up a little bit, give it that chippy look. I don't like a huge amount of a chippy look. I just like a little bit of it. So I'm just doing... A few places here and there and I'm not there's no rhyme or reason to this I'm just doing it wherever I feel like I would like to put um, a little chip in it so then I'm just going to take my strong adhesive glue and I'm going to put it on the bottom of the basket and on the top of the candle holder you might want to take something strong and put it inside the basket and let it set up for a while so that the glue adheres well this is for decorative purposes. This is not something that I would use to put anything in on a regular basis. So uh, I wouldn't advise that, but um, it's a nice farmhouse pedestal basket and I'm real happy with the way it turned out. So now I went into my Cricut design space and I went into Cricut Access and I picked out this particular leaf here. It's in this set. And I went ahead and I printed it off on my Cricut. I used removable vinyl for this one, which I find easier to work with. And then I went ahead and I just pulled it off of the uh, vinyl around it. Or actually, I'm pulling the vinyl around it off. Once you get that done, now I'm going to take my Ribba frame that's about $8 from Ikea and if you saw me at Christmas time I put like a little um, like flannel background in it and so now I'm going to change that up take that out and I'm going to take some of this craft paper from the dollar store and I have measured out the size that I want I'm going to go ahead and take my leaf and I'm putting transfer tape on it now and then I will take the transfer tape once I know it's on there real well and I will pull the leaf design off onto the transfer tape and then I'm going to take 
it and transfer it onto the piece of paper here that I have, the craft paper. And so once I'm sure that that's on there strongly, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start pulling that off. And this is something that you want to be real careful with. Definitely want to be careful with it. You don't want to rip it or have to go back and print another one because I can tell you from firsthand experience that that is very frustrating. I don't really like to do that. So we're just being careful here. I am going fast. I have it in a fast mode so I don't bore you. And there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put my matte frame in. I'm going to tape it with painter's tape to the back. Make sure that it's centered the way I want it. And put the back on my rib of frame and then I'm going to go ahead and I will show you how it looks. Okay, this next DIY is I'm taking my tip, ticking fabric that I have that I love, some floral wire from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going ahead and making a wreath form. And I'm just going to tie these little pieces of the uh, fabric around. We're going to tie them all the way around the wreath. Obviously, that's probably something, you know, I don't really have to tell you. You can figure that out by looking at it. And I'm just about done here, so I'm just showing you as I finish up here, just tying the last one up here. I used 25 of these strips at 7 and 1 quarter inches. So if you saw my um, Target Dollar Spot Shop with me, you saw that I purchased a couple of these window frames. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this wreath on here. First, I am trimming it up to get the uh, size that I want for the pieces. I want them all to be a uniform size, so I'm just sizing up what, how I want them to be. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of give it a little haircut here, get them all the size that I want them. So now these, these backs of these frames are a little harder to get off than you think. You do need a small screwdriver, I think, to uh, unscrew the screws in the back and take the back piece off, which is what I wanted to do. So now I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to just glue my wreath onto my window frame here. And that is just a very simple DIY. Okay, so this next DIY is I have this bottle from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a while and I've been wanting to paint it white for a while now. So I'm just uh, cleaning it up with alcohol and then cleaning up any of the residue that's left there. And I'm going to take this all purpose, multi purpose white paint here and I'm going to paint it all over this particular um, glass container. And then I also have a mirror that I'm doing too. So I'm doing uh, two coats on this vase, jar, glass, container. And then I'm taking the, a chestnut color and I'm kind of using water with it. And I'm just kind of making, I want to make it look older, kind of aged. And so I'm putting that on with water and paint. And then I'm taking my paper towel and rubbing it off. So I'm, I'm rubbing the excess off that I don't want. I'm doing the same thing here with this mirror. This mirror also came from the Target Dollar Spot quite a while back, painting the whole thing white, including the, the framed piece around the mirror. It's all going to be painted white. I'm using the same multi-purpose white paint, and I ended up doing three coats of paint. So now I'm doing the same thing with the chestnut color water and paint and then wiping it off and that's kind of how it looks when it's done just to give you an idea of how that looks now that's just the brown color 
Okay, it is the next day and I have let both of these pieces kind of set overnight. I'm not really loving the brown color that I used here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plate and I'm gonna zero in on these colors here. I am thinking of the darker color. I've used this graphite gray before. I used it on a mirror and I really liked it. So I'm between the graphite gray and then taking the green and the white and making a really light green, mostly white and a little bit of green, just because um, I thought maybe I would add a little green to it and see how that might be. I do like this. I'm trying to do something a little different. Might add some of this, not sure yet. We'll see how it goes as we go along here as we finish painting it. And I'm just gonna, you know, take the brush and kind of like dry it, kind of brush some strokes along here and there, and we'll see. Okay, I think that's more like it there. I added mostly white, a little bit of green. You just gotta play with it until you find the shade that you want. It's better than running out to the store and trying to find another color shade. It's just mixed two you already have. happy with the way these turned out. I'm still not sure about the burnt umber on the glass container. Uh, of course, I could always go back and wipe that off if I don't like it. Um, but um, I'm going to leave it like it is for now. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you here how I styled both of these pieces. <laughs> So I'm going to make some beaded garland here. I did get this package off of Amazon. I'll try and link it below. It comes with these beads and it also comes with the jute twine here. So we're gonna start by making a tassel. I'm using some flower sack cloth, my ticking, some lace and some other ribbon. I'm just tying them together in the middle here to secure them so I can keep them all straight. But what I really wanna do is tie this jute here about an inch down so that I can make the tassel and trim my edges off and there it is so I strung the beads on the other piece of jute already 18 beads and then I tied that cross ornament on the end that I already had make sure you tie like double knots so that it is secure and that it doesn't fall off and you also want to make sure that you have enough rope on the on the like slack on the end so that you can tie two or three knots so that it's secure. I also looped that jute through the hole so that it does stay secure the tassel to the beads if that makes sense I hope it does. That's my finished product. <laughs>
Okay, this one, super, super easy. These wall stickers from the Dollar Tree, the accessories there from the Target Dollar Spot, my trivet that I painted a while back uh, came from Ikea. And this is gonna go upstairs in my desk area that I have. Just taking the wall piece here, and I had painted this trivet, I did this at Christmas time. If you do paint the trivets, you wanna make sure that you paint them um, lightly. I would start off by painting them lightly, and then I would um, paint them darker, like after it dries, if you think you need more. That's my advice on painting those. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take my wall sticker here. These are really, really pretty flowers that they had at the Dollar Tree. They came um, in six in a package. And I'm just gonna put it on my trivet, and I'm gonna make a nice little uh, pinup piece for my office area near my desk so I could clip something on there if I need to clip something on. I'm going to go ahead and use my adhesive glue and glue that clip on. Make sure you let it set a while so that it uh, stays in place. You know, you want it to set up because it, it's not the hot glue, it's just the regular glue. you got to let it set a while. And then I'm going to take my push pins and I'm just going to find little places for it. And then this is just a nice little easy DIY with materials I had on hand for me to use on my desk. I can pin things up there that I want to remember or notes or anything that I, I want to have right at my hand near my desk area. And I thought it turned out real cute. Mm -hmm. 